Hello everyone, this is AV Creative. I hope you're all good. Now for today's experiment, I'm planning to paint fluid acrylic fish. I'm going to use my ball chains and I'm going to paint a fish that I've never painted before. It's going to be a Japanese goldfish. Well, I hope you're going to enjoy it. First of all, I am testing a very strange board. This is a cake board stand, however you call it. I'm not going to paint on the canvas. I'm going to try and see if this is going to keep the paint in shape. These are the colors we are going to be using today. Not many. Uh, all colors by Arteza, Scarlet Red, Mars Black, and I've got two small metallics, Pearl White and Tangerine Orange, and that's it. So what I fancy painting today is a goldfish, but a different type. It's this Japanese type of goldfish, which is mainly white and red. I'll show you a picture just for reference. So something, something like this. And most importantly, I'm going to use my chains. I haven't used them for quite some time. These are my steel ball chains. I did put this board a bit higher on my little stand. But I am not expecting lots of dripping because with chains you don't actually use that much of paint, especially in the background. You don't want all the paint to drip. So I'm starting with coating my base with black. Spreading evenly with my palette knife. As I said, I don't want it too thick, but at the same time, I do want an even coat. Spreading the paint, especially towards the edges, because I don't really want too much paint in the middle. I think it's all done. That's good. That's all done. I'm very glad there are no drippings. Those of you who know me, especially from Instagram, you know I really don't like wasting paint. And I, I do love experimenting. So this fish, I've done, I've done a beta fish before, but I've never done this type of fish. So I'm quite excited. So let's torch the air bubbles. Not as many, okay. For those of you who'd like to know how I mix my paints, uh, especially in my previous videos, there'll be a description underneath, but I'll just very quickly tell you. So I mix. 50-50 PVA with water is my pouring medium and then I add a third of paint, two thirds of pouring medium and then if it's still too thick then I add a bit of water. Uh, I also tend to add 10 or 20 percent of blow troll. I'll put it all in my description. Uh, for this one my mix is slightly thicker than usual. I'm a bit concerned maybe this isn't too thick. It should be sort of running down nicely. This is probably too thick, so if it's too thick, I'm going to have a tiny bit of water. That's better. See, your stream should be uninterrupted. It's running really nicely down. This goldfish is going to have quite a big tail, so I'm sort of thinking where to plan it. I usually use those small bottles when I want to squeeze some paint, but I don't have any more at the moment. So I am going to use just my pipette to outline the tail. Well, the tail is pretty big. The upper fin, where do I want the upper fin? It's somewhere here. Yeah, the pipette is not perfect, something like that. Okay, let's just leave it. I'm adding a tiny bit of this lighter tangerine colour. I want it predominantly white, the tail. And then this part I want actually predominantly red. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm really curious what will happen. This is such an experiment. Okay, got my chain ready. Whenever you're working with chains, make sure you've got some container with water ready, because once you drag your chain, you want to drop it in water. Otherwise, every tiny bit of the, of the chain will be completely clogged with paint. And dried up paint, it will be impossible to, to clean. Oh, I'm a bit apprehensive, so let's just put the chain. 
the break around the edge. I don't want to put it on the side. can always redo the part you're not happy with so that's what I'm doing now I'm just repainting this section oops I realized I must have pressed the wrong button and I've just erased part of my video sorry now I'm going to add the small underbelly fins Notice, like I keep turning it, I keep turning it because I have to see it really well to know which direction I want the thing to go. It's difficult when it's really, really small. Yep. And the last one is going to be somewhere, somewhere here. But again, I want it predominantly red. This is just a really small one. Probably the hardest part now, doing the body, but in a way that actually reflects the shape of the fish. So, and the pipette is not the easiest thing to work with. I'm not sure if the body is big enough. I think I wanted the mouth of the fish or the, the sort of top upper part a bit of red. Oh my goodness, I'm getting stressed now. So when you when you went when you go so far then you spoil everything it's not very nice okay how shall I do it keep turning till I feel comfortable I think I'm just going to drag the whole thing together no idea how that will work and then we'll try to fix it from here <laughs> that was not what I wanted that's too much red I don't like it, so let's get rid of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it's pretty frustrating when it doesn't go the way you want, but with pouring acrylics, you never know. So I have to be patient. So now I'm just putting the white again. I'm going to drag it from this way. some scales but this will be so hard on such a tiny little guy I really want to give this fish this fat tummy that they have but it's quite hard I'll try to outline the fish now dip it in white Maybe I will do this part in the red because it will be much easier. I'm really struggling with the white on black background. It's not easy making a fat fish. So if I do this in the red, it should give me a nice outline. Yeah. And perhaps on this fin, we go this way. Oh, I thought the body was 
pretty white so I'm just adding tiny tiny lines of red indicates some scales so I don't want my fish to be completely white and just a little bit like that just like that some texture on the tummy maybe time for the eye I'm kind of wondering should I use the chain and what color should I make the eye or should it go somewhere here Spread the outline with red something like that actually not bad <laughs> it's better than I thought and now just the middle the middle is going to be black Oh, it's shaky. Come on. Oh, gonna need a bit bigger. Oh, quite happy with the eye. Look at this. <laughs> I'll take you for a close up. So the fins are pretty cool. And the tail. I must admit, this fish was not easy, especially when you don't have a brush and the funny shape of the fish so when I looked at my fish just from the distance I thought the fish is quite nice but the composition is a bit lacking I think I put the fish a bit too high so since I did it I need to balance it and you know being an art teacher I'm a bit obsessed with, with the, how the, the artwork looks so I am going to add a few air bubbles just coming from here I don't want to drop them like this I'm just going to use a tiny brush to take a bit of white I'm not sure if I'll be happy with it I'm thinking either leave maybe some kind of vegetation as well don't know so we can imagine that there's a another fish somewhere underneath releasing those air bubbles that was my fish in, in a fish tank I'll have to name it I wonder what kind of name would suit this fat so hmm? if you have any good ideas just please let me know you know I can always remove the bubbles if I'm not happy with them <laughs> um, change into something else what do you think that's kind of Adding a bit of interest, perhaps. Okay. What do you think? So that's the finished painting. Please tell me what you think. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the process. It was quite painful at times for me, but the result is quite pleasing. Uh, at least I think so. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please press like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.